gravitational vortex water power plant. This design is inspired by Victor Schalberger, a brilliant water wizard almost 100 years ago. Uh, it's been being built by some Austrian and Swiss guys on a much larger scale. The work has to be on a scale model. This is a 55 gallon drum. We have a 4 inch hole drilled in the bottom. It's the 4 inch section of PVC going into the stream. As you see, the vertical head here of the drum is only 3 feet. That's incredible. You know anything about generating power for water? Three feet ahead is amazing. We're sticking turbine down in here and connect it to an alternator to see how much you can get out of them. Or we're scaling up to a larger size. But I think this right here really can help a lot of people get off grid for uh, applications where they have to stream and not you know, a lot of drop. So that's what you get at. All right, after demonstration, I'm going to take the water out. Watch how much momentum is in the water here. So see, the water is no longer going in. See how long it takes for this to empty. It's amazing. There's a lot of rotational inertia stored up in that. It's still going. technology we have here is a 55 gallon drum and 4 inch PVC pipe. That's it. Nothing complicated about it. Still hasn't drained out. You get the shot of the water down and it's still draining. It's amazing. The water still hasn't drained out of the bucket. It's a 4 inch hole in the bottom. But because of the rotational momentum that pushes the water away from the hole. There we go, it's almost empty. Now when I put the water back in, watch to see how long it takes to get a vortex established. Got water coming in now. The idea is you want the water to come in tangentially. It comes in at the uh, basically going around the circle. It comes in and that's what creates the vortex. It is made and splashed into the middle. If uh, the vortex is the most stable way for water to get out, the water wants to create a vortex anyway. If I bring it in tangentially, you maximize the angle of momentum to get out of it. So let me figure out how much my fish can generate as a 55 gallon drum to stream with just a four inch pipe. So I'll get back to you. That didn't take long at all. We already got a strong vortex to travel. And Mark's here demonstrating how much momentum has to be in the water. I mean, there's a lot of force. Pretty cool.